get right into it. I'm going to start out with this CNN article talking about uh, Biden signing a memorandum reversing Trump uh, abortion access restrictions. So here's what it says, at least the beginning. President Joe Biden signed a presidential memorandum on Thursday to reverse restrictions on abortion access uh, domestically and abroad imposed and expanded by the Trump administration. The memorandum will reverse uh, my predecessor's attack on women's health access, Biden told reporters during a signing ceremony in the Oval Office. So right here we have uh, one of, gosh, one of Joe Biden's very terrible decisions, uh, and this is going to result in the death of lots and lots of babies. Um, 62 million babies have been murdered since Roe v. Wade in 1973. It, it, like 62 million babies. That's a lot of babies. Uh, Leviticus chapter 20 condemns murdering children. So does Exodus 21 and the Ten Commandments. Um, I mean, we see things like this over and over again in scripture, uh, Christians who, or people who call themselves Christians who voted for this guy, shame on you, uh, cause this is going to result in a lot of, uh, slaughter of children who have done nothing wrong. Um, now Trump wasn't perfect on this issue at all. You know, he, he wasn't consistently pro-life. I don't think he was pro-life at all. He definitely wasn't trying to abolish abortion, but less babies did die under Trump. So way more are going to die under Biden. Biden and Kamala Harris are insanely pro-abortion. They love uh, killing babies. They love the death of children. So that's just a little bit on that. And, you know, speaking of, uh, you know, Biden signing things in the Oval Office, he has something like 42 executive signatures now. I mean, he has so many uh, executive orders, executive signatures. He's not even really obeying them. We talked about the mask thing last week. Um, you know, the whole rules for thee and uh, not for me thing. And it, it, it's, it's just, it, it, you know, I was going to say it's unbelievable, but it's really not unbelievable. And all these executive orders and executive signatures, uh, he's doing all this and, you know, but, you know, Trump was the fascist, right? You know, conservatives are the fascists and he's the one acting like a dictator. 